Stand by. Ready and action. Hi, we hope you'll tune in to the Buffalo Bill Show next on WBFL. As you no doubt are aware, it is Jerry Lewis week here on Channel 12, and we are celebrating with, you guessed it, a Jerry Lewis look-alike contest. Now that's a now, wonderful Why don't I let you all go back to the wacky conclusion? Cinder fellow. I love it. And then stay tuned for more fun Buffalo Bell. Okay? And we're clear. Good for Buffalo Bill. Okay. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Show starts in the way to the audience. Take a moment of your time. I'd like to speak with you for one moment, sir, if I could. Please, spare me a grilled cheese sandwich from the commissary, okay? Will do. Oh, and what about the bear? The bear stays. People love the bear. Fine, Mr. B. Grilled cheese and the bear. Ah, 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 oh, I might. Oh, Mr. Bidding, this car must need an awful lot of work, huh? That bear is a big asset to the show, Nudel. Oh, yeah? Well, not to my mind, but uh, then again, I've never been certain that he's an asset to the show either. <laughs> Manuelo, look, don't you understand? What I'm doing for you is better than money. Every time I mention your garage on television, it's, it's better publicity than money can buy. Look, you have to give the people a couple of days for their cars to break down. Don't you understand that? What's the matter with you people? Totally ignorant about your own industry, too? All right. All right, look, look, look. Hold it, hold it, okay? Look, just give me one more day to jump up some business, okay? Thanks a lot. You're a tough man, Manuelo. I'm the Sandinista. Big match, Mr. Bittinger. Oh, yeah. a grilled cheese is cooking. Oh, well, listen, Woody, I'm going to need your Buick one more day, okay? Well, I'm taking the missus to dinner tonight. Well, why don't you have her come pick you up? Pick me up? Or, or, or you could take the bus. Bus? Well, whichever is easier. Don't, don't let her shove you around, man. Do what's best for you. Do what's best for me? Absolutely. We're ready to roll, Carl. Are you coming to the booth? Did you ever think about... Ending it all, Joanna. Ending the show, Carl? You know what I mean. What's he done to you now? It's not Bill. It's not Bill, really, not at all. The fault, dear, dear Joanna, is not within our stars, but within our stars. I think you better sit down away from the window. <laughs> I don't think a two-story drop is going to really do the trick. <laughs> Oh, what's the matter? <laughs> oh, please, no. Hey! I, I don't want that you should should be... Oh, the crying is not... Because if laughing would... Well, I don't... No. I, I don't... Any cookie, but crying is not... Oh! I... 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 Oh! I... I Oh, my foot. My leg. Quick, in it. Oh, the fucking cold. The pain is lighting that this pain would do. I could, maybe some help would be good. I could get this. It would be. And or I should take this. Oh, my foot. Oh, you know. Oh. Whoa. Oh, hey, lady. I could be good. I'm very sure. The chair is, is going, so that I would be, uh, I could come back if you, uh, Try to keep the door closed, please, so he doesn't come in here again. You know. <laughs> Almost that time, Miss White. Aren't those Jerry Lewis is fabulous? Yes, they are. <laughs> I may be crazy, but my favorite of his is the bellboy. Uh, Mrs. was nine months pregnant that night, and she laughed so hard that... <laughs> Mr. Shub having a bad day? Yes, he is. Tell Tony to start setting up without me. Well, I could send a telethon, Jerry, in to cheer him up. No, thank you. He could sing and never walk alone. He's very good. Maybe later. Mm. Okay. What is it? What's the matter? That's uh, Catherine. Is she sick? No such luck. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that, please. Oh, I won't. Uh, she thinks I'm uh, indecisive. And, uh, 
I think she may be right. Um, we were talking about the show uh, this morning, the Buffalo Bill show. She thinks I shouldn't let Bill walk all over me. She thinks I'm not a brave man. Oh, I think you're a brave man. You do. In your own way. Uh, what way is that? Well, I think you're a man of realistic compromise. I like that. Realistic compromise. I like that. There's a lot of dignity in that. I think there is. Yes. What do you do? Could you just tell that to Catherine? Oh, I couldn't. Yes, you could. Just that one sentence. Just that one oh, sentence. Oh, please, You Carl. could do it, yes, Joanna. You could do it. You, you have ways. You, you can talk to Bill. You can talk to Catherine. They're really a lot alike. Catherine, it's your husband, Carl. I have uh, Joanna White here, and she'd like to say something to you. Have a nice place, and lady, won't you dance with me? What is this missing out there? Lady! Mr. Lewis. Mrs. Sean, your husband and I were talking about... about... what a good man he is. Well, you have six children, Catherine, so he must have them. <laughs> Catherine, uh, I think what Joanna is trying to say is that uh, she doesn't think I'm a coward. She thinks, in fact, I have some measure of dignity. Would you tell that to Joanna? Kathy, hi. <laughs> I'm not saying it's any of my business. Catherine! Kath! Mrs. Shub, don't you? Here's your husband. Sweetheart, uh, Jojo is no longer on the line. Uh, it is I. I. I understand. I. Uh, I. It's not through the mud. I. I just told one person. You're not getting divorced, are you, Mr. Shub? You know what I want? I want to be floating on some clear, cool lake somewhere. On a spring day, on a sky, just, just this color, you know? <laughs> I want to feel the wind wafting through my tousled hair. I want to laugh at some antic little fish. Was Catherine doing all this? Sadly, at the chiropractor. <laughs> She has a little trouble with her back. Well, at least you didn't drown her. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shub, you know, I, I've never been married, but I had a boyfriend two and a half years ago, and we had a lot of the same problems. <laughs> well, thank you, Wendy. My entire pleasure. <laughs> Start the show. Talk to you later, okay? Well, you know, you know something? I'd like to be so different, but I'm not. I'm just, I'm Carl Shubb, and I always will be. I'm cowardly. I have, I'm, it's part of my nature. I, I just, I can't stand it when people are mad at me like that. I understand. I know you do. I really do. I know you do. Mm. I think how different my life would be if I, if I were married to you. <laughs> my life, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come to the booth with me. No, uh, maybe later. I, I, I gotta, I, I, I gotta straighten up a little here. I, I feel a lot better. Okay. See you in a while. Though. Okay. You know what I want? Just once, just one day, one day I'd like to walk out of here with my head, uh, it'll never happen. Get off my plate, don't you? Jojo, those Jerry Lewis's are going nuts. They're all over the place. What was the Wendy putting them in the green house? Well, some of them are in there. A lot of them are getting out. Well? Hey, hey, get off of there. Hey, get to <laughs> Hey, where are you off to, Carl? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna take a walk. I'll be back tomorrow. Something got you down? No, thanks. Uh, I'm fine, Nudo. Thanks for caring. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 
What's the matter? Wait a minute. What, what is it? Yeah, just because I wanted to make all my family together, I didn't mean I wanted on her today. What's the matter with you? Oh, I gotta go to work. Well, I, I, could I just come and sit with you for a minute? I don't want to be alone. Yeah, yeah, sure. Come on, come on. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay. Please, come on, sit down over here. Okay. Sit down right here. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Everybody, here we go. Roll the opening. Cue theme. Taking track. Miss White, we got a problem here. What? Mr. Shop took the bear. Thanks, Woody. <laughs> no kidding. Mr. B is very mad. <laughs> sure has a lot of fuss over a stuffed bear. Show we Tell have you something, today. that stuffed we'll bear may save Carl's Donner, marriage. Donner, uh, you'll have to explain that one to me, Jojo, because the picture that I'm coming up with is awfully weird. <laughs> Also, artist Peter Wingfield is here today uh, with his uh, priceless collection of those little tiny glass figurines. And then later on in, in the show, it's part of WBFL's continuing effort to get you people to watch that afternoon movie. We're going to have our first and possibly last Jerry Lewis lookalike contest. Okay, how about that? Is that exciting? Good. And we'll be right back with my first guest, Mr. Staunton McMuller. He's with the New York State Department of Labor. He's going to talk to us about why that unemployment rate keeps going up. It escapes me, I know that. But hang in there, okay? And we're close. Carl, I'll give you a count of three to open this door. One, two, that's three. Forty-five seconds. Come on! Be back, little piggy. And in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2. Okay, we're back. Uh, my next guest is a guy that, that I happen to like. He's been on the show several times. He's one of the many fun people with the Department of Labor. Let's meet and greet uh, Mr. Staunton McMuller, okay? Hey, Staunton, how are you? Good to see you. How you doing? I love the blazer. I love it. I like the brass buttons. I prefer the brass to the, the silver myself. How about you? Yes, thank you. You made the studio safe from bears, Carl. How much time on the next commercial? Three, four minutes. Somebody take down my will. Come on, Carl. Forget it. You called his bluff. You stood up to him. He's going to think twice before he ever does that to you again. It's not over. Oh, sure it is, Carl. Woody just went to get the bear out of your office. I hid it. <laughs> Maybe we better all make out our wills. You made your point. Give it back to him. He's going to get it eventually anyway. Not necessarily. I can win this one, Joanna. I really, really can. I think today is the day. 
Well, but I hear those parties at the state capitol get uh, pretty wild, as in uh, importing prostitutes from Manhattan, uh, games with the little pages. I'm not at the Department of Labor. Believe me, I'd know. I'll bet you would. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to be right back to take another look behind the political scene after these nice words from some very nice people, our sponsors. And we're clear. <laughs> Show my weight. Mine's live at all. That's all right. It's fine with me. You'll be in breach. I'll come back to your contract, eh? I'm going back to my dressing room. Fine with me? I finally rounded them all up. Something happened. Absolutely fine. Totally fine. Carl, Carl. Look, uh, if you need somebody to occupy the host chair, New Dale is willing. Good idea, New Dell. Bill, I hope you don't mind if New Dell takes your place. It's your show, Carl. Do whatever you want. 45 seconds. Well, get ready, New Dell. Are we coming back with the host, Woody? I want that bear. The bear is out! Uh, yes, we'll be right back with either Bill or New Dell. Or maybe Woody will take your place. Or maybe me. 25 seconds. I want you up there on that stage. I want that bear. 15. Well, uh, you're not getting him. <laughs> gonna make it. And in ten, nine, well, here eight, goes nothing. seven. Are you going out there on that stage? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Four, three, two. And we're back with the Buffalo Bill Show. I'm uh, New Dale Spriggs Jr. Now, uh, what was it you and Bill were talking about? I myself was engaged in a Makeup transaction, that would be in too much tension. We were talking about how things are up in Albany. Oh, well, Albany don't mean nothing to me. But uh, you've got something to do with jobs, don't you? I'm with the Department of Labor. Yeah, well, I got some friends who are hurting because they need jobs. Yes, well, the unemployment figures are very high. And naturally, these numbers have to come down. That's the top priority of this administration. Say what? I was uh, just saying that nothing saddens the governor more. Hey, hey, Lord. you ain't answering my question. Yes, I am. You asked me about unemployment. No, I didn't ask you about no unemployment. I asked you about jobs. Now, wait a minute. Let me make this easy for you to understand. See, my friend Harley and my friend Sam are carpenters, and they're good. Can you get them jobs? I only wish it were that simple. No, no, no. I'm talking about two jobs. Just say yeah. They wouldn't mind even working in Albany. I'm not really in a position. Well, man, if you can't get them jobs, then what the hell good are you? Huh? Uh, everybody needs jobs, right? Yeah. I couldn't agree with you more, but until the national climate... Hey, y'all, oh, don't give me that national climate. Oh, good hands. Good catch. Good. I got a job. You got a job. They don't. You're really oversimplifying the whole problem. Them and their families can't eat. It don't get no simpler than that. Do you like this man? I don't. <laughs> hey, hey, get out of here, man. What the hell good are you? No, man, I mean it. Get out of here. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, look, I don't give a <laughs> but then get out of my sight, man. <laughs> that guy was a kick in the ass, wasn't he? i tell you something. I haven't heard so much sweet talk since my first date with my girlfriend, Lucille. <laughs> Lucille is a lot better looking than he is, i tell you that. In fact, Lucille and me went up to uh, Albany one weekend. We were going to see the uh, state capitol. But i tell you something. Ed had to bring it up to the hotel room for us to see it. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm smelling smoke here. Oh, well, just stay right where you are, everybody. I get just the don't panic. On. Where are you get going? The sprinklers on. Everybody, hey, somebody get those sprinklers on. The sprinklers are coming just on. Just stay exactly where you are. Don't move. Please, everyone, keep your seats. They're going to be all right. It's just a small fire backstage. You're in no danger. Stay calm,
good, man. You did a real good job. Well, thank you, Tony. Thank you. You ever think you might like to pursue this? Oh, I don't know. I understand the pay is good. I would suit me. I don't need, but uh, could definitely get used to the adulation. <laughs> hey, Bill, you see the show? Yeah. Nice try. <laughs> but I do wonder about the risks of developing a major personality disorder. Next on A&E, will Leslie have her act together when she takes it on the road? Find out in the next episode of The Associates. <laughs>